TV pundits really 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 want you to buy into the narrative tonight that the submission of Robert Mueller's report somehow means that Mueller didn't find enough evidence to build a criminal case against Donald Trump. What's this based on? Literally nothing, of course. Meanwhile, the people in position to know better are expecting Mueller's report to set off additional indictments. First, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff appeared on MSNBC and stated that he thinks it's likely there are more indictments coming, they'll just come from the U.S. Attorney's offices that Mueller handed off the cases to. But this didn't seem to fit with the doomsday narrative, so MSNBC kept pushing the notion that it's all over and everyone who hasn't yet been arrested is somehow magically off the hook. That's when Richard Blumenthal stepped to the plate. Richard Blumenthal, who sits on the Senate Judiciary Committee, appeared on MSNBC and stated that there is a high likelihood that there are indictments in this president's future. He explained that these indictments are likely to come from SDNY and or other federal prosecutors. But again, this didn't fit the prevailing MSNBC narrative, so the host cut off Blumenthal and began asking leading questions which were aimed at painting the picture that no more indictments are coming. We don't know why the TV pundits are so eager tonight to push the notion that they somehow know that no one else will be indicted, beyond the obvious fact that scaring viewers is a good way to paralyze them into staying tuned in. But back in the real world, people who have been involved with the overall Trump-Russia investigation, such as Adam Schiff and Richard Blumenthal, are very loudly saying that they're expecting more indictments. Blumenthal even thinks Trump is going to be indicted. 